Hello guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome to another Dreamweaver tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a nice navigation effect using CSS and HTML in Dreamweaver. So if you have a look at my navigation area here, I've got a nice rollover effect whenever your mouse hovers over a link. Um, and this is done through CSS coding. Now I've just uh, coded up a really quick... Um, layout here for a website it's nothing spectacular but it's it's not the point of this tutorial so in order to create this i am going to go to my source code and create a brand new navigation area below this one and call it nav2 and let's go into the styling take a few new lines and let's start coding this nav2 we're going to set it as the same properties as the original nav bar, the navigation bar. We're going to set the width of it to 800 pixels to match the wrapper. And the height, we'll put the height to um, 45 pixels. It's always nice. We're going to put a background color of, let's select one. Um, let's use a nice orange to go with the background. Uh, let's check that. Yep, looks nice. So, in your nav div, you want to set overflow to hidden, and I'll tell you why in a second. So now we've got our basic navigation area with three links. Um, the next thing we're going to need to do is set up the nav 2a, which is the links, the a tags. <coughs> Um, let's set the color of these to, oh, let's just select one, um, let's get a nice brown, or maybe not, nice dark purple, and we're going to use a font family of Arial, or Arial, however you want to say it, font size, 14 pixels. Um, I hate the underline, so we're going to take that off by doing text decoration, none. And let's just check that out. Looking good, looking good. And now this is where the rollover effect comes in. We're going to set the display property to inline block. And we're going to set the line height of the a tag to 45 pixels which is the height of our div so now you can see it's nicely centered in our um, div tag so in order to make these space out a little bit we're gonna set some padding to the left and right so padding left sorry padding left um, 10 pixels and the same again padding right 10 pixels and now they're nicely spaced um, so now that's basically it done for the a tag just go below that take a few lines and we're gonna style the hover effect effect a hover we're gonna change the background color to whatever you can change it to whatever you want I'm going to go with a lighter version of that orange and you can also change the color of the text so I'm going to change it to a lighter version of that again so now when we view it and we roll over we get a really nice navigational effect and we created that in no time at all this saves yourself having to import a lot of images to make proper rollover buttons and simple is more guys simple navigation areas like this looks slick it looks professional and it looks really really nice and because you're doing it with CSS it's so easy to change so if I want the color to be white type in white and there you go changed and if I want the rollover to be black there you have it looks really nice guys and uh, Let's just add one last little effect, border, bottom, color.
color and get that solid one pixel and there we have it looks nice that's the navigational effect guys hope you liked it if you did leave it a thumbs up give me a comment and let you know, let me know if this helped you out and remember to subscribe and favorite this video cheers